Oh là là, ah bon? Aïe, la vache. Zut alors. These are all examples of French exclamations. Understanding exclamations and knowing how and when to use them is a key part of speaking French like a native. In this video, we'll go over 16 of the most common French exclamations. For each one, I'll give you an example sentence and an example video so you can see how it's used in context. Vous êtes prêts? Allez, c'est parti. Number one. Ah bon? Really? The first exclamation on our list is ah bon which means really or oh really? It's used to express surprise or interest at what somebody has just said or ask for further information. For example, Je viens de gagner la loterie. Ah bon? J'y crois pas. Ah bon? Mince alors. Euh, Charlie Palin. Ah bon? Ben non. Don't be fooled by the word bon in this expression. Ah bon doesn't necessarily mean that something is good. You can say ah bon in response to something that's good or bad. Number two, aïe, ouch. Getting injured is something that can happen no matter what language you speak, but your response will be different. The French use the word aïe to say ouch. For example, aïe, je me suis cogné l'orteil contre le pied de la chaise. Number three, ouf, phew. Ouf is a handy word to express relief after you've just gotten out of some stressful or uncertain situation. The French use it the way we would use few in English. For example, Ouf, j'ai fini le projet avant la date limite. Number four, miam miam, yum. When food looks or tastes delicious, you can say miam miam, just the way you would say yum in English. For example, you could say miam miam, ce biscuit est délicieux. With all the delicious cheese and bread and pâtisserie that can be found in France, this is definitely a word you'll want to know before you go. Number five, la vache, holy cow. Sometimes we get lucky and French and English exclamations translate between each other perfectly. This is the case with la vache. It literally means the cow and it expresses the same surprise and amazement as the English exclamation Holy cow. What is it with cows? But while holy cow isn't used that often in English, you'll hear la vache a lot. For example, La vache, cette voiture est rapide. C'est d'autant plus emmerdé que je suis amoureux. La vache. They're recognizing Great Britain. Oui, la vache. Watching real world video examples like this is a great way to learn new expressions because you get to see how they're used in context by native speakers. But the problem is it can be really hard to actually find videos that contain the phrases or vocabulary that you're looking for. Luckily on Fluent U, you can use the video dictionary to search for an expression and then watch clips that show you how that expression is used in context. Oh la la, Doudou joue au sous-marin. Ça va pas du tout ça. Fluent U also gives you access to thousands of full-length French videos. From YouTube videos, to clips from French movies, to TED Talks, and more. Every video has interactive subtitles so that you can learn new vocabulary as you go. And you can even create custom quizzes so that you lock in your learning. To try a free trial of Fluent U, click the link in the description below. Number six. Oops. Whoops. Like la vache, our next exclamation has pretty much the same meaning as its English counterpart. The French exclamation oops means the same thing as the English word whoops or oops. It's used to acknowledge having made a mistake. For example, Oops, j'ai fait tomber la caméra. Oops, pardon. Oh, désolé. Number seven, shoot. As beautiful as the French language is, sometimes you just need people to be quiet. To express this in French, you would say chut, which actually sounds a lot like sh or shush in English. For example, Chut, j'essaie de dormir. No, no, moins fort. Chut, chut. Number eight. Oh la la, oh my. This is probably the most famous phrase in all of French but it doesn't actually mean what a lot of non-French speakers think it does. In English, saying ooh la la usually means that you're talking about something a little risque. Ooh la la, so handsome. But in French, it doesn't have that connotation at all. It can be used in tons of different ways, but there are two main uses that stand out. To express positive surprise or appreciation. For example, oh la la, c'est trop joli. 
Mais qu'est-ce qu'il est bon. Oh là. Or to express disappointment and frustration. For example, Oh là là, quelle catastrophe. Oh là là. Number nine, zut. Darn. Zut is an exclamation used to express discontent or regret without resorting to a swear word, just like the English word darn. You might also hear zut alors, which means the same thing but adds a little bit of intensity. For example, zut alors, j'ai laissé tomber mon portable. Zut alors, she has emerged. Number 10. Bof, meh. A lot of these exclamations are used to express intense emotions. But what if you really just don't care? There's a French exclamation for that too. The word buff can convey that something is kind of mediocre or that you're just not that interested in something. For example, C'est intéressant d'aller au cinéma? Bof, pas vraiment. By the way, if you want to make sure that you don't forget all these great exclamations, we've made a free PDF that will help you review everything we covered in this video. To download it, just click the link in the description below. Number 11. Hein? Huh? This interjection is used to show that you haven't understood something. For example, Hein? Qu'est-ce que tu as dit? It's worth noting that, like in English, this is a pretty casual expression. If you wanted to ask somebody what they just said in a more polite way, you would say, Comment? Number 12. Quelle horreur! How horrible! In French, you can put quel in front of just about any noun to turn it into an exclamation, the same way you could put how in front of an English noun. So, quelle horreur translates to how horrible. For example, Il a été enterré vivant. Quelle horreur! Une larve bien grasse. Oh, quelle horreur! Donc, il y a un pendu dans ma chambre! Dans ma chambre! Non, dans la vieille! Dans la vieille, donc quelle horreur! Number 13. Quelle chance! What luck! Quelle horreur was how horrible. So, quelle chance is how lucky or what luck. For example, Mes clés étaient dans mon voiture après tout. Quelle chance. As I said before, you can put pretty much anything after quel. Quelle surprise. Quelle honte. Quelle coïncidence. Quel homme. Number 14. Que c'est blank. How blank. Que c'est is another common construction used to create French exclamations. When it comes before an adjective, it means how. For example, que c'est joli means how pretty. And que c'est triste means how sad. Number 15. C'est dommage. That's a shame. C'est dommage is a super common way to express regret for something. It translates to that's a shame or what a shame. For example, Je suis désolé. Je vais pas pouvoir venir à ta fête anniversaire. Ah, c'est dommage. C'est dommage. Monsieur, c'est dommage. Number 16. C'est pas vrai. No way. Literally, c'est pas vrai means that's not true. But what it really means is no way. I don't believe it. You're kidding. So when you're shocked by something, you would respond with c'est pas vrai. For example, je viens de rencontrer le président de la République. C'est pas vrai. And just like that, you now have 16 handy French exclamations to pull out in conversation. La vache! While you're on a roll, check out this video where you learn the most popular phrases used in French TV. Allez, à tout de suite!